My full name is Edwin Hunt. I was born on the 23rd of March 1920. By then I had two sisters who were four or five years older than me. They were twins, Florence and Emily. I was born in Exning Road, Canning Town, number 14. There was no front garden. The door led straight out on the street, tenement of course, and the step was always whitewashed. And there were Wanstead Flats, open country, the sand hills and the lakes, and Wanstead Park and the river roading, and dragonflies, I remember. The, you know, the stepping stones across the river roading as it went through. Well, oh, lovely memories. The whole district was, shall we say, a poor district. And some of the children in my school, Star Lane School, went to school with no shoes. Of the uh, 20 boys who were in my group, in my class, only nine survived the war. The other startling memory of the, the early 20s was on uh, Saturdays we used to go with Mum to East Ham Market and on Saturday mornings there would be four old soldiers, each with one wooden leg, crutches, in the curb, singing their hearts out. What a difference to the way we treat one leg is so amputees now. Just begging in the streets, singing for money. Terrible, terrible. I think more people now are, 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 are interested in what their ancestors did. And it is important because there's a certain pride in the family name. Pride in what granddad went through and great great granddad went through. And uh, it enhances one chance of doing a little better yourself. Now I found it quite difficult to trace back my family tree. Uh, it's taken quite a while and um, I had advice for lots of people on how to do it. But now, as it's published online, I think more people will be able to find it m much more easily than I have done. What do, what do the people of today have to learn from the past? Well, after two world wars, which cost so many lives, I've learned to forgive, to be more tolerant because I certainly hope at my age that people are tolerant of my mistakes, of which there are far many, far more often than there used to be. Mm -hmm.